today what I'm working on is the open muscle bracelet. So this is the sensor bracelet. It consists of six cells and these are paired together in groups of two. You can see the alternating colors here where it goes blue, green, blue, green, blue, green. So the blue ones are the charging circuits and the green ones are the ESP32 C3 cells. I've, I've numbered the groups of the cells zero uh, through two, so zero, one, and two, but for some reason number one is kind of faulty. It's not able to send Wi-Fi and it's having an issue even connecting to the Wi-Fi access point. Not quite sure, I'm just gonna replace it out. I have backup boards here. This is the hand analog or prosthetic analog um, that's just using actually the same printed circuit board from the last label system. So the last label system was this guy and it still works of course, but it uses this custom PCB. It was perpendicular from this tool that I'm using, which is the Diodario hand exerciser. But uh, this is the new label system. No, and actually this is based off of the S3. So this is a little bit of an upgrade. It has the same functionality, but it's not jutting out 90 degrees or perpendicular from the hand exerciser tool. It's actually in line with the pistons. And so we're using just the piston caps there uh, to be able to capture everything. So these caps, the piston caps, um, they are fit to insert into the top of the hand exerciser tool. And then you take the rubber that was initially there and you can put it on the top. So it's I've kind of just made a female and male sides of this um, and they just kind of snap in place. They don't even snap, they're a little bit loose fitting, um, but that's done intentionally to not ruin the hand exerciser uh, to make this more modular um, for the time being. So yeah, so we're gonna try to fix cell number one today. Um, we're gonna take a look to see if we can do our first data capture and see if we can predict finger output. Uh, pretty exciting. So. So today we're going to be testing the bracelet. All three of them should be working. Set number one upwards on the forearm. We give some space in between these. Get this working.
this, of course, is a, just a kit that I've put together. Pretty much all do it yourself. This bracelet is made of ESP32s and custom pressure sensors that are made from keyboard switches, magnets, and Hall effect sensors, and these little feet here. There is a band that keeps them together, which is this type of Velcro band, and we get easy access to three computers, uh, just in case we need to debug an issue. Um, there is power charging built in. Um, it is kind of, you know, uh, the first version, and there, one of the batteries slipped out, but uh, it's pretty exciting. It's getting at least a little bit more manageable to run tests much better than the last version. So just to show you what we're going to be aiming to do, we're also going to be aiming to be able to control a uh, prosthetic hand. And I'm going to go ahead. That was just the boot up process. I'm going to go ahead and go now to the ESP Now Send, so that way I can control these fingers. So yes, this label device can control the hand, but we want the bracelet to be able to control the hand. So in order to do that, we're going to train an artificial neural network to predict or infer finger movements. And we're going to use a regressor. The reason why we're using the regressor is that we have a variable output. It's not just fingers closed or open, but we can do halfway or partial. And it's kind of glitching out here. So <laughs> it's going to be a little glitchy. Uh, we need to smooth some of these values. <laughs> But yeah, it's not just a partial. All the way open, all the way closed. And some fingers I'm not. So a classifier might just only have a couple of positions. This on the other hand has a variable output. So yes, so join me today as we work on making some exciting accessibility tech and maybe uh, open source version of virtual reality uh, human interface device. One of the things I've been working on as well is getting haptic feedback, but that I've been working on that circuit and that's uh, for a different video. So let's dive in. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, let's see if we can make a positive difference in this world.